So our team has reimagined what responsibly producing oil and gas looks like with the goal of a lower carbon future. It's really important to engage the community and get their feedback so we can improve and so we can respond to their needs. Comprehensive planning really allows you to say, okay, we're taking this large swath of acreage and we're the designated operator over this. We got nearly 500 permits approved um, that, that designated us as operator. Uh, they had a six year term. What it allows us to do is say, hey, we want to build the infrastructure of an entire area. Um, and we want to do that with you, the regulator, to make sure that we're compliant. And then we're also able to work with the Colorado State Department of Wildlife to make sure that we're protective of riparian areas uh, and protected species or high priority habitat areas. We really have just a really clear vision of where we're going. We're not changing up our order or pulling teams in different directions. It's always, we're going down this road, let's just keep going as efficiently and safely as we can. And as we really explored the lower carbon vision, and we said, okay, let's remove the tanks off a of location. Let's remove all the flares off a of location. That unlocked higher returns because it was uh, simply less parts uh, that we had to deploy out into the field. And as a result of that, that introduced less complexity, which, which gave room for safer operating uh, conditions across our, our facilities and for our folks. The result is a transformational design that lowers our greenhouse gas emissions by more than 90% and shrinks our surface footprint by more than 95% versus our legacy approach and represent a 15 to 20% lower life cycle cost in facility design from prior generations. We do this by using things like electric power. We do it by eliminating air emissions with our modern flowback technique. We do it by producing spec oil direct to pipeline without the need for production tanks, without the need for further downstream processing facilities. So electrifying the drilling rig has a lot of benefits to us. Um, first and foremost, it's reducing local emissions. Secondly, it's uh, eliminating a lot of over-the-road uh, over truck traffic, deliveries of fuel. Um, thirdly, it makes the location quite a bit quieter because now we're, we're not relying on on-site generators. Uh, well, we've seen continuous improvement through all of the designs. The collaboration in one team philosophy really does help. We want to hear what ideas there are out there and what other people are doing, what we can learn from, what we can share, and really just try to build the best product that we can.